The most striking thing about this cable is either the red heat shrink wrap on the one end, or that it's the focus of this video's thumbnail. If there wasn't heat shrink tubing on it, you probably wouldn't even be able to tell it apart from a normal iPhone cable. In this video, I'm going to show you a script I wrote that copies a file from my local file server to the desktop of my computer. Before I do that, the USB Ninja is basically a human interface device disguised as a charger cable. I have mine in USB-C because I figured it would be the most versatile, but you can also get it in micro USB and lightning for iPhones. Imagine you're an attacker, you're at a coffee shop, someone pulls out their laptop, you go over to them and you ask if they can charge your phone from their computer. They go to the bathroom, you run your attack, pull the cable out, and leave. Simple as that. Let's take a look at the commands I have entered in the USB Ninja. I have organized them into three groups. The first one, once you're in the OS, presses the Windows key plus R, along with Enter, which brings up the Run dialog. The second types in CMD and hits Enter. And the third one types in a command to copy a demo file from my remote server to my desktop. Let's go ahead and try it out. I have the USB Ninja connected to my computer through my keyboard's USB hub. My apologies, I have to do this on my old phone so I can record with a new one. If we select Atom Ninja, which is the device's name, and go over to slot 2, which is what I have, you'll notice I also put in home slash desktop instead of the D slash desktop, which is what we had before. That's just so it'll work with this computer instead of the computer I was testing with. If we select start, it copies the folder from my file server and puts it on the desktop right up here. I also got the remote, and if we turn that on, it connects to the device, and we go and select slot 2, hit enter. There we go. If you also have the remote and you're struggling to find a battery for it, it uses LIR 2032s, and you cannot use CR 2032s. I tried that, it didn't work, and it took me a long time to figure that out. These are rechargeable coin cell batteries, and it only works with these. The person at the coffee shop probably isn't going to be connected to someone's file server. You'll probably be able to find the path to their desktop, because it's the same for everyone's computer. But you could reverse the command and pull a file from someone's computer and put it on a server. Or you could use the command prompt to mount any network drive you want, copy a file, execute it, and there you go. Kind of a fun tool, pretty scary what you can do with it. I'm not going to use it maliciously, but I do plan on messing with it a lot more, and maybe you'll see some more videos about it. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more. I also have social media. Go ahead and follow if you want to see incremental updates to my projects. I'll leave links to those in the description. Please consider donating via PayPal and Patreon. I also have an Amazon wishlist in the description. Any amount is greatly appreciated, and once again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.